The Bronze Age is a very important part of ancient history. The development of bronze work can forever change humanity for a number of reasons. For this video, I want to talk about something history seems to not focus on too much. Did America have a Bronze Age at all? This video is a part of a large YouTuber history collaboration all about the Bronze Age. My video is towards the end of the series, so in the description I'm going to link the playlist of all the videos involved. Be sure to give them all a watch. So when was the Bronze Age? Well, usually people give it a rough time period of roughly 3300 to 1200 BC or so. Basically when the early civilizations were just getting started, relatively speaking. They started using bronze for many tools and objects. Simple enough, except not really. Truth be told, there is no consistent Bronze Age because it's not truly based on a specific block of years, but based on when a civilization started using bronze at all. Most people are aware of a rough progression of ages based on what they used for tools and objects. Stone Age, Copper, Bronze, Iron. While it's a general trend for many parts of the world, this wasn't the same for every civilization by any means, and it certainly didn't happen around the same time for everywhere either. Especially if they didn't have high amounts of copper or tin, the things that are used to make bronze in the first place. The Middle East and India started roughly around 3300 BC, Europe a little later at 3200 BC, Ancient Egypt around 3150 BC, so roughly the same time period so far. But Nubia and West Africa had their Bronze Ages at 2300 and 2200 BC. Then East Asia didn't have their Bronze Age until closer to 2000 BC. Then you have Sub-Saharan Africa, which interestingly enough didn't have a Bronze Age at all and just went straight to their Iron Age at around 900 BC. I'd kill to be able to skip bronze working and go straight to iron working when playing a civilization game, but you know, I can't. The point is, to say the Bronze Age started in 3300 BC and ended in 1200 BC is only true if you have a Middle Eastern or Eurocentric view of history. So the question of the video on whether America had a Bronze Age isn't about the Americas during the 3000s to 1200s BC, it's about did they ever get bronze working and did they use it? Did they perhaps skip straight to the Iron Age like Africa? Or did they have their own unique path? Let's find out. So as mentioned earlier, to make bronze you need copper and tin. Copper is relatively abundant around the world, and always has been. Tin, however, is not. There are many reasons why a Bronze Age might not have appeared at the same time as others. The first could just be based simply on levels of technological development, but it could also be based off of proximity to tin. For example, from the evidence we've gathered, the Middle East and ancient times actually didn't mine tin at all. They actually traded for it, with most of the tin coming from Europe. So their technological advancement over Europe gave them the early lead, but Europe still followed closely behind because they had tin right there. It explains why northern and western parts of Africa eventually got it, but southern Africa just had to skip over it and go straight to ironworking. After all, the Sahara Desert and the rainforest have been trade barriers for a long time. China had minor deposits of tin themselves, India had Southeast Asia to trade for it. Australia, being more isolated, couldn't get it, so they never had a Bronze Age. So for America, to have a Bronze Age, we need to see if they had access to copper or tin and when. Let's break it down between Northern North America, Mesoamerica, and South America. Northern North America definitely had copper. While we're not sure of the beginning dates, by 1000 BC or so, there were already trade networks for copper but it wasn't about smelting copper. Rather, they hammered copper into objects for art, cultural ceremonies, and minor weapons. Copper was flat out sacred for many Eastern North American tribes as well. However, there is no current evidence for smelting it and making alloys with it like bronze. And in ancient times, there was no evidence of mining tin in Northern North America. Funnily enough, Northwestern North America had access to iron around medieval times or so, thanks to source iron from occasional Japanese wrecked ships that flowed across the ocean. They used their own tools to mold it into weapons, but still no smelting. If only Gavin Menzies knew that wrecked ships floating across the ocean was a common thing. <coughs> what about Mesoamerica? Well, we all know that gold metallurgy was really common. After all, the rumors of El Dorado were based on how much gold the Mesoamericans used, but what about copper and tin? Copper metallurgy did occur in Mesoamerica, unlike Northern North America. While there was, of course, metal sculptures, just like in Northern North America, around the year 600, civilizations in Mexico, more specifically in Western Mexico, did conduct metallurgy. Did Mexico have tin? Yes, they did. They had deposits of tin and did, in fact, make bronze. The oldest stuff we found is from around 1200 or so and a lot of it was actually used for making bells. The interesting thing is that in spite of achieving bronze working, 
They still preferred silver and gold for metallurgy. Ironworking never occurred there until the Spanish brought it over to them, so the Mexican Bronze Age is from roughly 1200 to 1521 or so. Late to the game, but you know, it's still cool they had one. What about South America? Well, South America actually appeared to have developed metalworking on their own, and quite early. Some evidence seems to point to copper smelting possibly happening as far back as 2000 BC in Bolivia, but it wasn't widespread until closer to 800 BC. Did South America have tin? Yes, they did. They did have some in Peru, and as a result, by roughly around the year 100, bronze working did occur during the Moche civilization. It would, of course, be continued onwards by the Inca. Interestingly enough, though, the majority of their bronze working was used not to make weapons, but to make bronze objects to represent status and wealth. Weapons to them were just fine using other stuff, but we can technically give them a Bronze Age. Due to the fact that South America developed bronze working first, it is believed that they traded off their knowledge on how to create bronze to Mexico. Just like with Mesoamerica, they never got iron working until the Spanish brought it over. But in a strange plot twist, they also had the first platinum work just a few decades before the Spanish conquest, so that's actually pretty cool. So overall, the Americas did have a bronze age, but it was much later than in the old world civilizations. Why is that? Well, there's a multitude of reasons. Firstly, civilization simply arose later in the Americas than in the Middle East, Asia, Europe, or Africa. So of course they were going to develop it later. But also, as I've briefly mentioned, they mostly preferred working with other types of metal for their weapons and tools. Gold, silver, and plain copper were just much more common. And Mexico especially loved using jade for stuff as well. When they did use bronze, it was much more for status or simply wanting a nice color even for their objects more than use in terms of weaponry. They simply had other alternatives they preferred. To use a Bronze Age as a signifier of technological status can work on rough approximations, but it doesn't work altogether. For example, technically the Maya are considered a Stone Age civilization because they use stone tools. Obsidian, limestone, sure, but not metal. Yet they were a very advanced civilization when it came to science, mathematics, and architecture. So it feels weird in your head to call them a Stone Age civilization, but technically speaking they were. Most people think of Stone Age as like living in cavemen times, which the Maya clearly weren't living in. And the same could be applied to the Bronze Age. America's Bronze Age may not have impacted the world in the same way the Middle Eastern one did, but it does, in fact, exist. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe, but also remember to watch the other videos of this giant history collaboration on the Bronze Age. I'm Emperor Tigerstar, and I'll see you guys next time.